Okay, this ain't gonna be that long of a video, but I'm gonna try to cut some of this floor out right there where this uh, wheel is. I got the uh, generator going. This side's the worst. Yeah, this side's the worst. This one ain't that bad. This one actually comes up all the way up to here. So I'll just take the grinder and cut them off and move back. Yeah, a good bit of it's got to be cut off, so let me get the uh, tools. I leave my stench cord over here because it's going to warm up where I can start working on this. It's my heavy duty stench cord. It was over my, it was over at a uh, place that I helped clean up. They were going to throw it away so I took it. They said I can have it. I hope you're hearing me alright. The generator is a little but what I'm going to do, there's a plate right here. I have to cut. I'd cut closest right in here, but I got to get most all that rust out. Remember, safety glasses. This is actually pretty good in here, so I'll cut right in here. Then I'm gonna uh, I'll bond it together with a couple tack well or plug welds. But let's see if we can get, cut, get apart here. There's a couple screws that are still stick up in the floor like this. Probably gonna get them today, but. Make sure my circuit breaker is on. Let's see what we got. We're good. Remember, safety glasses to save your eyeball.
Dugan metal stuck up while I had it. Well, I do, but I don't. I'm going to cut it right here. this way, channel arms like this, like an L. And then it's got a, a plate sandwiched in between where the mud flap goes. So let me go ahead and get these out of the way. I don't want to cut the copper because I might need the copper. And you don't want to do this with sand freeze in it because sand freeze can't catch on fire. It's all cold. I don't know and I don't want to find out. I get that holder out, but I got a good bit of rust on this side, so it's gonna look a little funny, but this patch, but it's gonna work for what I want. I'm gonna cut into good metal.
can see how thick the metal is. I tried to do that before by cutting the patch, but it really didn't work. And I know a lot of people are going to be uh, shocked, scared of what I just did. How much this hole is big, but you need to do it. You got to get it out of there. You don't want to know a little bit of rust or anything. <laughs> Gotta bring my uh, magnet over and clean all this stuff up. Just pick this right up. Screwdrivers and get this, clean this up. That's pretty solid. I gotta figure out what's holding these hoses up. I'm pretty sure I cut the hoses. It's something actually holding it.
I'm just going to cut around it. Let me move over so you can see. I'm going to cut around. I'm just going to cut around these. And try not to cut my wire. If I can keep that good, if I can keep that long wire, I'd be able to use some stuff. I'm going 
to see if I clean this metal up a little bit. How bad it is. come out towards the wall, out from the wall a little more. Because I see a rust spot here. But not much. That thickness, that's what I need. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, cut this out, and I'll put that stuff on the bad rust spot, and I'm going to overlap it. It's only going to be that thick, much thicker. I'll drill holes in these and spot weld it, and spot weld it to all this. I'll get rid of all this bad junk. Get down to the piece of stuff. See, it's still some on here, but. One patch at a time. This patch has got to come out further. Right. I'll pause you for a second. I'll go turn the generator off. And I'll come back. Okay. This all, this right here is all structured metal. Still pretty thick. This is that piece I was talking about. It was sandwiched together. But still make no sense. See how thick it is over, yeah. over here. Not so, but it's, it looks like it's thinner here. I don't know. I'll fix all that. That's the mud flap. All the other structure is still solid. It move, it's moving a tad bit right there, but that's actually on this frame. So when I come in here, I'll lay it across the top. I'll drill holes and I'll tack these two. And I, what I'm going to probably do, I'm going to take these panels off. I know that. I gotta see how they're made, but I'm gonna, wherever this is stuck here and stuck there, or wherever is a brace going up through here, I'll weld to that too. So it's actually gonna be, in the long run, it'll be stronger than when it came out because I'm putting more bracing in. Because I'm gonna brace it this way. I don't know if I'm gonna take this off yet. That's what I said. I know this is coming off. I want the insulation, but I don't know about down here. I got I gotta take a pan off, find out. You guys know more about than I do on that. I have to watch some videos to look at. But anyway, you see how bad this is. I got all that cut back. I cut all this cut back. This right here is not really rust. It's a lot of rubber there. 
Then we just gotta clean this up, coat it, and away we go. As you can see, it's pretty good here. It's good here, so I'll probably just take this on right all the way up, up to, uh, there should be a brace in here. Right there's a brace. So, probably go up to that brace and put a sheet right on top. May, maybe one goes this, may, maybe one goes this way and then one goes this way. I can take a, make a brace, comes over here, over to this brace. Right here. And go right down there. And then I can take the other one and butt right up against it. And go right down there. Then, see, I still got stuff I got to grind off, but I'm going to open these doors from now on. Because that, you see how dusty I got. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. At least you're watching. And please subscribe and bye till later.